Hello everyone and welcome to Van Tech Corner. The Extreme Networks WSAP3825i is a dual-band 3x3 mainboard enterprise race at set point with 2 gigabit Ethernet ports. In this video, we will see how OpenWRT runs on this little device. As usual, the test will cover one to LAN throughput test since the WSAP3825i had 2 gigabit Ethernet ports. We will also do LAN to LAN throughputs via the 2.4 GHz Wi Fi and 5 GHz Wi Fi. Before proceeding with the test, let's see my internet speed when the PC is directly connected to the router. As you can see, it is reaching 2144 Mbps download and 898 Mbps upload. Now, let's log in to the WSAP3825i and check out the configuration. I will enable packet steering with 128 steering flows. As first, shortwave offloading will be disabled. For the wireless configuration, I got two SSID. One is running on channel 60, 5 GHz, and the other one is running on channel 11, 2.4 GHz. The first test will be a 1 to LAN throughput test. My PC is connected to the LAN port of the WSAP3825i, which has labeled LAN 2. The upstream router is connected to LAN 1, or in OpenWRT, it is a 1 port. We are having 336 Mbps download and 860 Mbps upload. During the test, the CPU load is up to 80%. The result is identical on the second test. Now, I will enable shortwave flow of flooding and check again. This time, the speed increased a lot. It is 868 Mbps download with 90% CPU load. The upload speed is also reaching 890 Mbps. Very well, let's proceed to the next test. Now, I will disable GHCP servers on the AP LAN port and connect it to the upstream router for wireless throughput test. Here is a quick overview of the wireless setting, just for your references. In AP mode, we can't connect to the device via that edge, so we can't see the CPU users. Anyway, let's check out the speed. We are connected to the 5 GHz SSID. The AP is 1.5 meters away from the PC, but the TX and RX powers is not really good. As you can see, it is just 5A5 slash 7A0 Mbps. The download speed is reaching 261 Mbps, and the upload speed is close to 290 Mbps. Running the test again, I got more or less the same result. Again, the test was done with shortwave flow offloading enable and packet steering enable as well. Lastly, let's see how is the 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi doing. The signal is good, it is 144-144 Mbps. The download speed and upload speed remain stable around 86 Mbps. Running the test again, the result is also similar to the first one, which is 88 Mbps download and 79 Mbps upload. You can see that the wireless throughput of this AP is not really high, and for most of the time, it stays under 300 Mbps. At the time of making this video, the AP3825i is available on eBay for 10 to 15 US dollar. It is an excellent choice for setting up a mesh network that doesn't demand ultra-high throughput while still offering modern shortware and security updates. Alright, so that will be all. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.